So the elections were phenomenal for Akamai. I mean, really big, big growth from where we saw back four years ago. And the big change is where all the devices are going. I mean, you're starting to see it go now into televisions, smartphones, tablets, and PCs in, um, on browsers in those areas. So big change in the number of devices trying to connect to the network and where people are actually watching content. And so we saw huge volumes on the election night, um, particularly peaking at about 11 o'clock, where we saw volumes that were um, probably four times, three to four times higher than what we saw in 2008, um, and across the whole area. And then just the data feeds um, between Twitter, Facebook, um, things that were happening on the Association Press and all those types of things. You see a lot more information just being demanded by the consumers on all the devices they have. Bill, tell us a little bit where this really huge new demand is coming from, maybe anecdotally, or if you have any thoughts on that. So it's a combination of two things, right? One is the explosion of number of connected devices. So just more people participating and asking for content anywhere, anytime, on any device. But the other thing you're seeing that also drives up the amount of consumption per end user is the movement to adaptive bitrate streaming. Um, as we're seeing now, we can customize the stream to the situation for each end user and give them the best possible quality based on their connectivity at the moment, the device they're watching it on, what kind of CPU they have, and so on, by adapting the bitrate to the right bitrate for that person at the right time. So one of the things we've seen is that bit rates have gone up substantially in the last couple of years with this adaptive bitrate technology. Um, by growing 50 to 60 percent on average by end user. So that also drives up the amount of consumption per user, which also then drives up the amount of engagement because they get a better quality stream. They're actually spending more time watching and engaging with the content than they did previously. So it's a combination of greater engagement, greater um, throughput per user, and then just more devices that people can get to it with better connectivity across the board. Olympics were a huge for Akamai. Um, we worked with 23 plus broadcasters around the world. We delivered in over 60 plus countries throughout the world on the Olympics. When we look at the amount of delivery we did for the Olympics, it grew to over 45 petabytes, which uh, when you look at that size, that's over uh, almost 10 million hours of viewing time, um, if you put it all end to end. Um, and what was really a big change was, again, back to this um, better quality per end user. Um, two years ago in the World Cup, which we did a lot of work on the World Cup for lots of broadcasters around the world, we averaged about 800 KB um, per stream, and then we're up to over 1,200 this year for the Olympics on a worldwide basis. Um, so you saw about 50% growth. The other big change in that story was that back in 2010 at the World Cup, about 90% of the delivery was done over what I would call traditional or legacy streaming formats, um, either Windows Media or RTMP and things along those lines. And this was a big move to HTTP um, delivery, either HDS, uh, which is the Flash version, or Smooth Streaming, which is the Microsoft version. So more segmented video, which allows for better adaptive video experiences.